Hey everyone, it is towards the end of August and I plan on sending a bunch of extra pass horses to heaven right now to get some extra passes for the month. I have already sent my first 10 guaranteed pass horses to heaven. This is August 1st and August 10th. So these, that just means that that was my first pass horse, my 10th pass horse. I've already gotten my 10 guaranteed passes for the month for my pass horses. And I have, how many horses do I have in here? I have 32 in this farm total that are over the age of 25, but if you actually look at how many horses that are over 29, which are the horses I plan on sending today, I have 21 horses that I plan on sending to heaven today. A few of them I'm going to have to age up a bit because they're like 29 and 2, but that shouldn't take me too long. But anyway, because I have already sent 10 pass horses to heaven, for each of these horses, whenever I send a horse, I have a 1 in 3 chance of getting a pass and a two and three chance of getting a black market or a bonus item. So if you've never sent more than 10 pass horses to heaven, you're going to kind of see some of the items that you'll get if you don't get a pass. And unfortunately, quite a lot of times I often get items that don't add up to a pass, which is really unfortunate. I tend to get stuck with like spurs and bell boots and whips or whatever, but we're going to see how this goes along today. So this will be I'm just going to open up all of my horses right now. I'll keep a tally on the side of which horses give me passes and which ones don't. So I opened up all my all these horses right here. I'm going to start with August 11. And we're going to age him up and see what he gives me. Okay, he's 30, so I can just go ahead and send him off right now. Whoops, I didn't mean to feed him. So he's 30. Just going to sacrifice him. <laughs> Hopefully he goes to heaven. Of course he didn't. All right, I messed that up. Okay, there we go. He should be go. Good to go. What do we get? Okay, so send to heaven. Oh, I did get a pass from that one. Because as you see, I started off with 32 passes. And I just went up to 33. I'm not going to explain this too much. Because otherwise this will take me forever. And I did do a video once in which I sent quite a few horses to heaven in one go. So this will... I'm just going to try to like speed through this as much as possible. He's 30. Send to heaven. Okay, I didn't get an item from him. What I get... He gave me a lunch whip. See, there you go. There's there's an instance in which you don't actually get a black market worthy item. <sighs> I hate when that happens. Okay. This will be August 13th. So third horse today, 13th horse total. 30 years old. He did not give me a pass either. What did he give me? He gave me a Helios Ray. At least that added up to a pass. But those are pretty easy to come by anyway. I don't really need Helios rays all that much. Alright. Another horse here. This is my 14th horse total. He's 30. Alright. Sun to heaven. He did not give me a pass either. What did you give me? Apollo's Lear. I don't really want those. That's not a pass either because that doesn't have any pass value in the black market anymore. They used to be worth a pass, but I don't remember when it was that they, that horse changed it. So the Apollo's Leers, you can't buy them in the black market anymore. All right. He did not give me a pass. What did you give me? He gave me a Water of Youth. I don't use those, but at least that's like a pass item. And oftentimes you can still get a fair amount of money for them in the exchanges. So that's not too bad. All right. I've gotten one pass out of, I don't know how many horses, six horses. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go the odds aren't spectacular there's another one and no pass that one gave me another water of youth you know i would really like some zeus's lightning bolts or medusa's bloods or something that would be nice which is what i tend to get um if i do get pass worthy items whoops no you're in 29 and 10 um, I've never gotten a horn of plenty i've never gotten a golden apple from sending horses to heaven all right Another, there's another Paul's Lear. So as you can see, if you want to go for more than the 10 guarantee passes a month, you're going to have to send a boatload of horses, <laughs> unless you're really lucky. And I'm like, never lucky when I do this. Whoops, do lesson first. I'm going to have a bunch of empty boxes in my EC after today too, because I think quite a few of these were boarded in my EC. Oh, that one gave me a pass. So I've got two passes out of eight horses. Woohoo. Don't know if those are necessarily good odds or... 
I did have one month where I sent quite a few horses off in one go. And I think I had, I did have one instance where about four horses in a row gave me passes. I was really surprised. All right. Look, do another dressage. Okay. That should kill it off. All right. 30. Ooh, that one gave me a pass. All right. Yay. Okay. August 20. This is my 10th horse today. I have an extra few days in the month. I didn't have to age some of these up as much, but I wanted to do go ahead and do this today. So we're going to be aging them up. 35. Okay, that one did not give me a pass. A Medusa's blood. I will take that. That's appreciative. All right. I'm trying to think of any other one pass items that I've never gotten. I think for the most part, it's just... Horns of Plenty and Golden Apples I've never gotten. Because I've gotten Zeus's Lightning Bolts. I just got a Medusa's Blood, as you can see. I've gotten Pandora's Boxes. A Whip. A bonus item, for example. That makes me mad. I don't understand why we get bonus items from sending pass horses to heaven. I think that's ridiculous. Um... I would at least appreciate something that could get the Equus amount back because granted players price pass horses, basically a pass in that sense. They value it much more than horses. Like right now on international. Yeah, I got another pass. Um, pass horses are going for nearly 200 K pretty consistently and horse values a pass. Like you can um, credit, you can credit Equus to your reserve if you pay a pass and I think you end up getting like 40,000 for it but the most a bonus item will get you is 12,000 and that's from a from a lunge so I think to give me a whip in compensation of sending a pass horse to heaven is ridiculous because I could have just sent this pass horse or I could have sold it in the sales ability stroke that doesn't equal a pass either but I can donate it to Al for an objective so yeah I wish they would do something like, give us better compensation instead of these little bonus items. Because I'd rather... I mean, I guess you could say, well, at least it gives you something. But for the value of this pass horse, even, even by a horse's cheap standards of what a pass is worth, which is, like I said, I think it's like 40000 a lunge whip or a lunge doesn't even equate to that. So I think that's ridiculous. Thirty-six. An Achilles heel. That I can sell. Sometimes I get lucky and I can sell that for about 300000 the exchanges. So that's pretty nice. One mind is Zeus's Lightning Bolt. I've been stocking up on those pretty good lately. And I've been fairly lucky in exchanging them for golden apples. So give me a Zeus's Lightning Bolt, please. Or more Medusa's Bloods. I still have a few. Um, I'm missing a few winged unicorns for my coat trophy. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. All right nine just do that okay send you off to heaven will you die yes 30 years old no pass got a helios ray again yay <laughs> all right running out here i mean i still have more horses that are over the age of 25 but um they're not even 28 yet so i'm not gonna take the time to age those up today and send them off to heaven 29 10 all right, let's get, all right, all right, you're 30 years old. Okay, whoops, one more. Okay, so this is my 26th horse total for the month. 30 years old, no pass. I got a black orchid that I can sell because I don't use those. Unless something really extreme happens, I'm really careless when I'm training a horse. I usually have no reason to use a black orchid on a horse to restore its energy. So I often just sell them in the exchanges. 29 and 10. Okay, this is the 27th horse for the month. Yeah, do that. Ooh, I got a pass from that one. So that's my fifth pass total. And remember that just because the horse hits 30, that doesn't mean you have to send it off to heaven right away. If you don't want to use aging points and you have time left in the month 
to send your power sources. You can just let it die on its own. That's perfectly fine. I just don't feel like wasting any extra resources like fodder and whatnot, even if it's boarded in an EC that has fodder already. Although most cases I board about um, 90 something pass horses in my own EC. So I just don't really want to bother with the resources and taking the time to age it anymore. So I just send it off as soon as it hits 30. All right. That one gave me spurs. Again, I think those are, what, 3,000 in the store? Like, I could buy that with Equus just fine. All right. 29. And it looks like, because I do have, um, I'll be sending, this will be uh, 31 horses total is what I have for the month. So you will see me send over just one horse more than 30 because I think I said in another video that there was, um, there's been some confusion about whether if you, okay, I was explaining that terribly. So there's some confusion about the pass horse rule because what it is is that you can keep sending horses until you get 30 passes. Once you get 30 passes from pass horses, you won't get anything more from your pass horses until the next month. But a lot of people think that that means you can only send 30 horses and that once you've sent 30 horses, you won't get anything. But that's not the case. And today you'll see that. So this is my 30th horse for the month total. All right. Uh, please give me a pass. Yay, I got a pass. So that's six passes total out of, what, 20 horses I've sent then, I think? Okay, so this is my 31st horse. So this is the horse in which you will see that I will get something, whether it's a pass, whether it's an item, I will get something from him, even though he's my 30 ho 31st horse sent to heaven for the month. All right, 29 and 8. Alrighty, I was hoping to get like a lot of passes because I'm wanting to renew my VIP for six months and you need like 50 passes for that. And that's like a lot of pass horses I'm going to have to use. Okay, so he's 30. Alright, so again, 31st horse for the month. I'm going to send him off to heaven and I will get something for him, from him. And I actually got a pass from him. What do you know? There you go. So there you go. That shows that yes, you can send more than 30 horses to heaven and still get something provided you didn't already get 30 passes although the odds of getting a pass from each of those uh from those second group of 20 horses are like really low as you can see because i got seven passes out of a total of what 21 extra horses you know so yeah that was me sending 21 pass horses to heaven after I had already gotten my 10 guaranteed for the month, which I did earlier this month. So there you go. Hopefully that clears some things up about that uh, pass horse rule about the getting 30 passes from pass horses. It's not that you won't get anything after you've sent 30 pass horses because I sent 21 today after I had already sent my 10 guaranteed. And how many more do I have? Uh I've still got 11 horses I can send to heaven this month, but actually with where I'm at for passes, yeah, I'll be set. I'll finally be able to renew my VIP for six months on the first of the month because I can probably get a pass if my carnivorous, or if I get one more extra pass this month and then I'll get my 10 guaranteed from pass horses on the first of the month, then I can finally renew my VIP for six months and I won't have to, I can use all my pass horses just to get golden apple coats for like four months. It'll be very, it'll be very nice. I won't have to spend all my pass horses on renewing VIP. So anyway, guys, hopefully that cleared some things up on that pass horse roll. It probably wasn't the most uh, fun thing to watch, but, you know, there you go. That's, that's how I go about doing it. So thank you for joining me today, guys, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.